Hello and welcome back to the next episode of Rex to Riches Dream Home Decorator where Kira is trying to earn money by being a home decorator. As you can see she has nearly 30,000 simoleons so she's doing really really well. She also got a girlfriend, Lilith. They have been dating for quite a while now, I think for almost a sim week, which is uh, pretty long. And I was thinking of get letting them get married this episode. I think it would be so perfect for her. So I was thinking of starting off this episode with a proposal. Let's see if Lilith feels the same way. I do think so, because both her friendship and their love bar are all the way up. Let's see, propose. Is she gonna do it? They do have a sentiment, they adore each other. Oh, this is so cute. Did it? Yes! Yes, she wants to! Oh, I love this. I love the Sims. <laughs> oh, they are such a cute couple. And it, it is evening, so they have nothing else to do but to get married. So let me plan this wedding. I've downloaded this wedding venue from the gallery and of course it's raining. I am gonna cheat the weather. Don't come for me, I am gonna cheat the weather. And when they're getting married, it needs to be sunny. I mean, <laughs> it would be just so, such a shame. I don't want them to have to get married inside just because of some rain. This wedding venue is perfect, it is so beautiful. I've invited all of their friends and also the poor teenage girl from last episode that lost her parents where uh, Kira did a renovation for. They, uh, they've gone sort of friends and is dress Kira is wearing. I think it is so beautiful. It is CC obviously. <laughs> I got it from the Sims resource. I think it's from Civics too, I don't know. But let's get this show on the road. I know some people don't like Sims weddings, but I love them. They are just so cute. And they fixed it so that uh, guests will actually sit down and watch the ceremony. Oh, they are so cute together. See, all the guests are sitting down and actually watching. Paolo is still holding his umbrella, I have no idea why. <laughs> oh, and the rings. Yeah. And they are married. Don't mind me, I'm just taking tons of screenshots, so I've got a good thumbnail for you. <laughs> I have ordered a caterer, but for some reason she just is making grilled cheese and BLTs, not a wedding cake. So I'm having Kira make a wedding cake. It is from Granny's Cookbook. You might have seen it in um, my 100 baby challenge. It, uh, this cookbook allows you to download lots of recipes. So I have downloaded such a great vampire cake. I mean, it's, it's just perfect. This cake is called Happily Never After. <laughs> I want to have a gold event, so I'm gonna try to uh, to get all the things the game is asking of me. Now Kira is having the first slice. She's running towards Lilith. I'm a bit afraid Lilith is gonna puke by just eating this piece of cake, but uh, it sure is adorable. Don't mind me taking some more screenshots. <laughs> now let's just call all the guests to meal so we'll get the eat food accomplishment. Kira is very very happy, she's feeling really playful. Oh and there is Caleb, Lilith's brother. Kira is just talking to all the guests. I think it's so cute. I love hosting events in the in the Sims. Not in real life though, that's very stressful. But for some reason I can easily uh, make it happen in the Sims. I, d I don't know why. I know a lot of other people have trouble with it, but for some reason I always manage to, uh, to pull it off. <laughs> Maybe I'm just weird. Uh, definitely I'm just weird. <laughs> I did hire live entertainment, but for some reason I prefer to dance to the stereo, including the caterer, <laughs> which is absolutely fine. Uh, I uh, 
I love to see them dance together, all their friends together. It's nice. I've had Kira order drinks for everyone. One of the things I do when having a party like this, I add them to a group. So I can do just uh, do group action and control the NPCs, which makes things like this a lot easier. Oh my, it's getting morning. <laughs> they literally have partied all night long. Kara is exhausted. I think, yeah, I'm gonna buy her a potion, a uh, sleep repair placement uh, potion so she can go to her gig to uh, today which is oh just married let's add her in i don't want any of their money let's just drink this potion so she can do her gig to the, today without collapsing <laughs> and uh, Lilith is added to the family and i think yeah, i'm gonna disband the group and let's just go home so Lilith is a vampire, which means she needs plasma to survive. I believe you can order this on the computer, I just don't know where. Let me uh, search a bit. I couldn't find it on the computer, which means she probably just needs to learn about vampires first. So I'm gonna buy her a vampire tome. Where is it? Not here. In her inventory? Yes, it's been placed in her inventory. Maybe she can learn how to order plasma packs, which could come quite handy. I don't want her to be uh, dependent on drinking from other sims. I don't, don't think Kira would like that either. She discovered a vampire secret, which is nice. Let's get Kira out of her wedding dress. And we still got a little bit of time before her gig, not much. Oh yes, little level up. And she discovered plasma packs. Yes, I can buy them on the PC. Okay, where? Order? No, not here. It wasn't under order. Maybe vampire secrets? Yes, order plasma packs. Let's, let's just buy a bunch for her. So that's better, Lilith. <laughs> and let's see how is Kira doing. Uh, all her needs are perfect. Still got a little bit of time before the next room renovation. I do enjoy the room renovations the most. They don't have any bugs. And it's just a very small place for you to focus on, just to uh, put your effort in. I think they look prettier when I'm done with them than when I'm doing a whole floor or even a whole uh, whole house. Oh, poor Lilith. Why is she puking? I have no idea. She Oh, she, she drank? I don't see any negative moodlets, but I have no idea. Let's just clean this up. Almost 9 a.m. Yes, let's go to work. Oh, this is one of the houses I've built just a little while back. Shouldn't be hard to find it uh, on my channel. It's uh, very recently. Well, I just want a room renovation, which means I got to pick the room. I do uh, remember that I ran out of money when I uh, was doing this home. Oh yes, and I installed a mod so the upper cabinets won't disappear, <laughs> and the stuff from the the modular stuff from the dream home decorator also doesn't di disappear when you're playing with half walls. Let's just introduce ourselves and let's see what they want. Okay, she has filled all the likes and dislike slots. They like uh, black and red, uh, video gaming, and playing the violin. Now, I am thinking of doing the parents' bedroom, because that is one I really ran out of money. I believe there only is a bed in there, so they could uh, use an upgrade. I just chatted a little bit more with them to find out some more likes and dislikes. But I didn't get a whole lot more. Just a ton of colors. Let's take the before pictures, and then let's get building. As you can see, this room is really, really sad. It only has a bed. I'm gonna give them a nice CC bed, and they do like video gaming, but I do not have a, such a big budget. So a TV is too expensive. But this thing, this thing is not as expensive. I believe only a thousand simoleons. Of course, I like the violin, so I need to place that one in here. 
they like the color red and black so I'm looking for red uh, wallpaper and some nice uh, decorations I was one of the sims who disliked black so I'm, I'm not gonna use that much black in here of course the uh, video station is black but I'm hoping they can see through this this place already has my favorite flooring so <laughs> I'm not gonna change that just looking through some art and that was all I can do that was all the budget that I have I am gonna take some after pictures the place looks a lot less sad so uh, I am hoping they're gonna like it so let's see what they are gonna think of this renovation do we get the sparkles yes because sparkles make everything better Come on, come on in. You're not covering your eyes? Why are you not covering your eyes? Come on in. Don't be shy. Okay, let's just go show things off. They're not covering their eyes. That's, uh, that's a bit sad. But, oh, well. Just hoping they are gonna like this. I'm looking at the video game station. Oh, he loves it. It's a really nice noise to sleep with, of course. Yes, they're actually coming into the room and they're hugging. Oh, I love it. They're looking at the violin and at the red bed. Oh, she doesn't like that. They did like red. She doesn't like red. Okay, nice. The first sim is ready for her final verdict. Yes, she loves it. And of course, the toddler is wrecking the place. <laughs> nice. And the little girl is ready too. What does she think of her new parents' bedroom? Oh, she loves it. Two out of five. Nice. Oh, and they are ready too. And the toddler is just keeping on making a mess. Ah, oh, luckily not in the new bedroom. And he, no, he doesn't like it. Ah, that's a shame. He, he is the teen, I'm guessing. Is she? Does she like it? Please, please like. No, she doesn't. Oh, two like it, two don't. Now we've got one more. Oh, I believe this were the par parents who didn't like it. Oh, and he loves it. <laughs> it is the parents' red room, and all, but all the children like it, and the parents don't. But three out of five isn't bad, right? <laughs> yes, I still got money and reputation, and I believe I got promoted. Got so much money. Yeah, I did get promoted to business interior designer. Nice, a lot of monies. And let's find a new gig for tomorrow before I forget. What will we do? I like room renovations. Or oh, we're gonna do something else. A room addition. Yeah, those are so worked out. I'm not allowed to level one yet. Library renovations. They're all level renovation, which is a lot of work. Now I'm gonna go for a room renovation. Oh, kitchen. Oh, yes. Bathroom renovation. Always nice. Okay, I really want them to have some sort of outing, kind of honeymoon, something. But I need to check can Lilith handle sunlight? I believe, yes, she has perfect sunlight resistance, so we can just go to the beach. That is nice. Let's uh, let's do this. A little, little small honeymoon. I mean, I can't have Kira be, uh, not be decorating all the time, of course. I love Solani. It is such a pretty world. Just having them make a thing together and let's see what Lil likes oh she likes purple and she likes painting skiing and acting and she and she doesn't like programming and video gaming okay <laughs> and letting her them swim in the ocean oh does Lil like fitness yes of course I mean she is in the fitness club right so uh, why not oh look at Kira go she is going so fast it's so hot here right now I would love to go swimming in the ocean but unfortunately it's really far away from where I live 
Now, I recently saw the Island Living trailer. I don't think I've ever seen it before. And I saw something. And I just, I need to try it. Just, I need to have Lilith prank Kira. There's Lilith and she's just throwing some sunscreen on her. And then something should happen. I thought that was so funny. And apparently Lilith likes it too. She, uh, Lilith can't get a uh, tan because she is a vampire. Oh, I believe Kira is starting to get a sunburn, but she... Oh, yes! <laughs> she is all striving. Oh, this is hilarious. Well, even her face. She looks like a raccoon. <laughs> Amazing. They're both hungry, so I'm having Kira cook up some... Uh, I think that is bananas or something. <laughs> and I've put out some plasma packs for Lilith. Okay, those stripes are too... Funny. If you have items living, you, you definitely should try this. <laughs> They've had a really nice day on the beach. And I think I'm just gonna send them home for now. It's uh, starting to get late. And it is their honeymoon night. So I'm gonna have them do some woo-woos. And I, she's still so stripy. I wonder how long it lasts. I have no idea. Okay, let's give them some privacy. It is the V season premiere. Okay, Lilith, you do not have anything going on in your life. You don't have a job or something, so uh, you can just watch some TV. Kara, I'm gonna take care of your needs before she needs to go to her next gig. Oh, Kira actually managed to finish her breakfast before 9 a.m. Yes, let's go to work. We are very obviously in Brennelton Bay. <laughs> what a lot of cats. Is this the cat lady where we are? I don't know. Let's just knock on the door and see where we, where we are. We are gonna do a bathroom renovation. Looks like there is one woman uh, living here with seven cats. <laughs> Definition of a cat lady. Amazing. Let's see what she wants with her bathroom. Okay, she doesn't like dancing, she doesn't like rock climbing, she doesn't like painting, but she does like snowboarding. Really, you know I'm gonna do your bathroom, right? I'm just gonna ask about her favorite colors and the core styles. Let's see if she gives me something to work with. Okay, I've told, talked with her a lot, but the only thing she could tell me was that she didn't like painting. So I'm just gonna send her away and uh, I'm guessing I've got free reign on the bathroom. Okay, let's just start with removing everything. Everything here is of course just cats and dogs and base game because it came with the uh, cats and dogs expansion pack. Um, it looks like she likes white and blue, so I guess I'm just gonna keep with that. Those styles are custom content. I really like those. Those windows coverings are from the uh, um, my first pet stuff. I know it's a controversial game pack, but I really like those blinds. And a shower tub combo, which is always handy. I just love this thing. I wish we would have it in more swatches than just this one. Because I use it so many times. Just adding some clutter on the countertop so she won't use it for putting down plates and stuff. And of course she likes snowboarding so I need to place a snowboard somewhere in here. It's a bit weird. But you know, see if I can get it on top of this cabinet, but it, it still looks really weird. And of course, when in doubt, to place plants. So this bathroom is gonna have a lot of plants because I'm seriously in doubt. Yeah, this doesn't look right, nothing. But okay, if she wants a snowboard in here, she can get a snowboard in here. Let's take some of the pictures. Okay, hopefully this works. She's running inside instead of revealing because of the rain. It's yeah, we've got sparkles. Come on in. 
Kapanin? Oh, she's covering the her eyes and walking right through the scare. You are gonna cover your eyes while walk, walking up the stairs? It's uh, daring. And Kira is walking through the stairs. What are you doing, Kira? Kira, get up there! <laughs> okay. It, it, it works. Oh, we've got the before and pictures. Oh, so much better. So much better. It's still white and blue, but just with a little more pizzazz, you know. <laughs> now, I actually love the new version, especially because it had plants. And plants make everything better. Let me know what you think of this, uh, this bathroom in the comments. Okay, let's see what uh, she likes it. Show off some items. Of course, I need to show off this uh, this bolt because that is the only like she gave me. And what is the reveal thing doing? It's flashing. I have no idea what's going on. I'm hoping this is gonna work. Okay, she looks really, really happy. That's a good sign. Just chatting with her a little bit. Yes. Let's see if she got a verdict already. Oh yes, she's ready for her final verdict. It all seems to work. Yes, she loves it. She loves it. Yes. <laughs> it's a snowboard, right? Oh yes, I got money, got reputation. Let's go home. I don't know what was happening with that flashing thing, but... Uh, it worked. Okay, I actually wanted to check on Lilith. I, I want to know what her aspiration is. She wants to have a vampire family, to train three offspring and to convert five sims into vampires. Okay, what I'm thinking is that Lilith thinks sims would be better off if they were all vampires. He thinks that uh, vampires are stronger, are better than normal sims. So, uh, she has the power to turn Sims into vampires, so I'm thinking she's gonna convince Kira to become a vampire. Just because she thinks it will be better for Kira, and that way she will never have to lose Kira to old age. I mean, it's a bit twisted, but it's, uh, it's sweet if you think of it. Before I forget, I'm gonna just pick a new renovation. Uh, kids room renovation is always nice. Now I'm gonna have Lilith talk to Kira about becoming a vampire. Yes Kira, I really want you to be a vampire. I think all sims should be vampires because their lives will be so much better. And she's telling nice stories about llamas <laughs> and how uh, uh, becoming a vampire will get you closer to uh, being a llama. No, that's weird. <laughs> I don't know why she got a llama. I can. Oh, Kira is still so all stripy, which is fun. If she becomes a vampire now, will she be stripy forever? Uh, that, that could be funny. Oh, Kira is asking her about being a vampire. I don't know. I think she is convinced. Kara is telling Lilith that yes, she really wants to become a vampire. She wants to be with Lilith forever. And Lilith is turning her. Oh yes, it is happening. Finally, they will be together for eternity. Here, Kira. Drink from my wrist. That will make you an actual vampire. Oh, Kira is feeling it already. It'll take a couple of sim days before she'll actually turn, of course. But the start, the beginning has been made. Kira will become a vampire. So that was all the exciting stuff for this night. I think I'm just gonna let them hang out with the club. Why doesn't Lilith know anyone in the club? That is a bit weird. I think we are gonna need to change this. Let's start a gathering. You know what? I don't like this gym anymore. I am gonna find a new one on the gallery. This one looks pretty awesome. Let's uh, 
plop it in this lot. Finished, of course. This gym is absolutely beautiful. I'm just having Lilith introduce herself to all the members of Powerhouse. It's a bit weird that she doesn't know them. She only knows her brother. I mean, if you have lived for that long as a vampire, shouldn't you know some more sims? I mean, maybe they have all died, all the sims that she know. That, that's a possibil possibility. She just haven't introduced herself to Clara yet. Where are you? She is doing yoga in the middle of a thunderstorm on the roof. She has very smart move. And can she introduce her? Well, it is there. I'll just try. Yes, really, in the middle of a thunderstorm. Sims aren't that smart, are they? <laughs> this place even has a dance studio. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. I play some uh, dance mats down here. It's, uh, oh, and Clara doesn't like the music that's being played. <laughs> I think this gem is awesome. Download it if you uh, if you don't have it already. They even got some fighting robots at this gym. <laughs> oh, look at Marcus go. Kira and Lilith aren't too bad either. Oh, yes. Go Kira. <laughs> Nice. And still all stripey, which is so funny. It's getting late, so I've sent them back home. And we've got Vlad coming to visit us. He uh, might have realized we've got a new vampire, or almost a new vampire here. But it is time for Kira to go to bed. Lilith can uh, invite him in. Apparently Kira didn't know him either so I'm just gonna have them introduced why is she taking a shower and why is he pooping away this is getting annoying okay okay it doesn't look like Vlad is coming back so I'm just having Lilith go to sleep with Kira I mean it is the middle of the night so <laughs> so they couldn't reach the bookcase I had for some reason so I've given them a new one and Oh, I've got some stuff in my inventory. Let's just place it here. Why do I have the smoke alarm in my inventory? That's not the place you want it. Um, yeah, I don't really need the stuff. And this is stuff I'm gonna need when we've got a bigger kitchen. But for now, I still want them to live in a tiny house because of skill gains, which is pretty epic. Okay, it is time to get to work. Let's go. Okay, this is the Dutch colonial house I built a while ago. So apparently we're all gonna talk around the computer, of course. And we're gonna renovate the kids room. There's only one kids room here and I could have sworn I had two beds in there. I think something uh, went wrong when I placed it in this lot. But well, we can uh, we can fix it because we are doing the cat's room. Let's try to find out what they like and dislike. Okay, so they like mission decor, they like the color yellow, they dislike programming and they dislike French country decor. This is something I can actually work with. We've got some likes. So I'm gonna take some before pictures and then we are gonna get a building. Okay, let's remove all the stuff in here. I don't know if I wanna remove the toys yet. Um, and of course they like yellow, so all the walls will be yellow and mission style decor which is what these gardens are and these beds are all also mission decor i am gonna place two beds in here which was the original intent of this bedroom i know there's only one child living here but i believe there are a couple of teens in here so uh, they just gotta share one bed and they each get their own dresser this uh, rug and the uh, the paintings are also all mission decor. I want something to separate the two beds in here, but I don't know what. They do each get their own uh, desk to make homework on. And I'm just gonna place some decorations in here. This is all mission decor. And they're getting some toys. Which are all yellow toys, of course. I really love that bed. This is so cute. I don't think I'm gonna separate the two beds now. They uh, 
they just have to live with this. They can see each other while they're in bed, which is a good thing, I think, with siblings. Let's take some of the pictures and call back the client. Okay, there they are. They're all very nervous for this reveal. Do we've got sparkles? Yes, we've got sparkles. And Kira is still all stripy. <laughs> I don't know, will she still be stripy when she turns into a vampire? Will she just be eternally stripy? <laughs> I think that, that would be funny though. Oh, and the before and after pictures, so, so much better. Yes, I needed to get rid of the dollhouse, but uh, I mean, it, it's yellow now. You you want it yellow, right? Also got rid of the, of the frogs on the wall. I just placed a lot more toys everywhere. Yes, so much better. Okay, that angle was a little different, but you get the gist. Let's see if they like it. Oh, they all seem really positive. Oh, she is putting away the toys. Amazing. I, I place those toys there as decoration. You do not need... No, you do not need to clean them up. No, leave them. Leave them. <laughs> Okay. The cat is ready for her final verdict, which is the most important one. Oh, she loves it. Yes, it's her room, so this is the most important opinion we've got. One out of six. And they're all ready for the final verdict. Oh, she loves it. Two out of six. And do you like it too? Oh, she it looks really, really happy. Kira. Kira, where are oh, you gonna talk to her there? Yes, okay, three out of six, which already means a success, I'm guessing. Okay, do you like it too? You like it? Yes, four out of six. Yes, two to go. Oh, they're all looking really, really happy. Do you like it too? Come on, Kira, ask her. <laughs> <laughs> the other one is just jumping around. So happy is she. I love this exaggerated emotions. Yes, okay, five out of six. Perfect. And the last one. I mean, you're jumping around. That shouldn't be a problem, right? And Kara is really, really hungry. Her hunger is going down so quickly. Probably because she's turning into a vampire. Do you like it? Yes, she loves it. All six of them love it. Okay, this is a job well done. I think this deserves an after party, don't you think? Now, I'm gonna leave this part here. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please press like as it really helps me and my channel. Please put your tips, tricks and suggestions down in the comments. I must let you know that I am pre-recording this because I won't have much time to record during the summer. So it could take a couple of episodes before you see your uh, tips, tricks and suggestions back into the series. But I will, I will comment on them. Just so you know. And the next episode will be live next week. The next episode of the 100 Baby Challenge will be live next Saturday. Links are down in the description and on screen. So I hope to see you there. Bye bye.